I don't know why uh, my camera is like so messed up lately, but hello guys. That was a really aggressive way to start this vlog. I am doing probably like just a little short two day vlog, few days in my life. Not, okay, the light just turned green and someone was beeping their horn at me anyways. Um, but I am on my way, I just babysat all day from like a nine to, it's like 4.45 and I am leaving now, like I'm on my way to where I'm going. Um, but I wanted to stop by here, the, the people that I babysit for, which I literally love them so much, they're so cute. Um, they live in Fairfax and the Hobby Lobby is in Fairfax so this works out perfectly because my mom's birthday is tomorrow and we actually celebrated it yesterday because my dad is out of town um, again to the, today and tomorrow I think but the birthday presents that I had for my mom like the one from my sisters and I wasn't gonna be ready until today one of them is some doTERRA essential oils it's frankincense which this is going to come out way after she gets it so i don't really and I, she also does not watch my videos why am i tripping but it's doTERRA frankincense and it is if you guys are ever wanting to get good essential oils do, doTERRA that's what she told me doTERRA was really good but it's so expensive <laughs> um but that's supposed to come in today and then i'm having um, I've been propagating a few plants. I think I've shown so much plant content, but I'm gonna give my mom those plants as well She's been getting She doesn't have plants, but she always asks me questions about my plants and like how she wants to get some So I need to stop at Hobby Lobby and get a little um, Potter plant potter plant pot potter. I don't know <coughs> Oh my gosh, I'm literally about to choke. I need to get a plant pot for my mom for the um, mini monstera plant. I really don't know what they're called. They're called RH something else, but that's what we're doing. And then I need to go to Trader Joe's. So I'll do a little Trader Joe's haul. I have not been doing that many grocery hauls lately. And we're just gonna have a whole long little talk about this because I have not been doing right lately. You know sometimes when you go grocery shopping but you like don't want to cook anything that day because you have energy, like, at least me, I have energy for one thing a day, one big thing, and it's grocery shopping it takes up that entire slot of energy. Also cooking dinner takes up that entire slot of energy so I cannot possibly do both of those in one day anybody feel like that because I truly do I have just not been in a little healthy routine lately I have been slacking on literally every routine that I created for myself every habit that I've created for myself and it's kind of upsetting because I did in the beginning of quarantine like I just was so disciplined but also great I like gave myself so much grace in the beginning and I felt like I had like a happy medium but now I do not We're, I'm just gonna put you guys up on my dashboard what I was saying was I have just not been in like a healthy mindset lately first of all like taking care of myself all across the board has been lacking and honestly I think I've just been going through somewhat of a depressive state I do think you can go through a depressive state without being clinically depressed at least that's like how I would explain it is that I went through a depressive state and one major sign that someone is going through that is if they don't keep up themselves and their spaces well and yeah, I, I just feel like I've been going through something similar to that. Um, I, this is just something like so little, but I literally don't wash my face. Like I literally have not been washing my face. Not, I've been showering. So that's like one thing because I actually do live with people that would probably call me out for not showering. But I have been showering. I just never wash my face. And that's something that I find so much joy in and like never would pass up on and my room has been getting so messy lately like so incredibly messy like more messy than it ever has gotten in the past and then also my eating and my 
fitness have been like non-existent um i don't know why it's happened like this but it's like i literally just eat like it's like once a day that i eat out which is just insane i also have not really been working out and i know that it's when i i know that it's because when i do decide to work out i do something to like punish myself which makes me just not want to do it again um so I, i'm just like I need to get back on some type of schedule, not even some type of grind, but some type of schedule of taking care of myself. And I feel like I've been saying this so many times, but I have like stripped myself of a ton of responsibilities. Um, the next time that I babysit is the last time that I'm babysitting because although I love that family, I love babysitting. I'm just like, I really need to focus on myself right now and like, not like it needs to be an everyday thing and I feel like whenever I do something else it's like not I'm just taking time out of focusing on myself and I know some people might think that it's selfish but I literally just need to for myself focus on myself and like work on myself because I am not happy with like my I'm just not happy with myself right now <laughs> How many times can I say myself but I'm just not happy with my health and fitness right now I'm just really not I'm not happy with how I literally rinse my face with water and call it a day I just want to start taking more pride in self-care and um maybe not even self-care but just maintenance the amount of time that has passed since i went to my last soul cycle class like that's the things that i think about because right before quarantine hit i was like getting in my gym routine getting in my eating healthy routine i think i just posted a video like lost 40 pounds in six weeks routine. like i i was just like really peak everything i was in my peak and now now i'm like on a little decline and i've been on a little decline and i think that mentally I was on a decline and it was just a matter of time before physically I'm also on a decline so I, I just I really think that I need to focus more on that um so yeah that's what this vlog is going to be about we're just trying to start some healthy habits because I I just need to do something different like I just don't feel good I don't feel like I just don't feel good I feel gross about myself to be completely honest and I know I'm laughing now which I'm never not I'm never like crying like even though crying is not bad I don't ever just like I'm like I don't know how to explain this because I don't know I was talking to my friend about this and she was like well you don't seem like and it's like no I don't seem like it but I but that's like I'm never gonna I don't often show me like breaking down like that's just not something I do very regularly although it looks like on my channel I do it regularly but like in life that's just not how I am I'm not really a crier in front of people type of person and the only thing that I can say about that is like on my YouTube channel I'm not in front of anybody I'm just like me and my camera um but Anyways, I am going into Hobby Lobby now to get a planter for my mom's little birthday present. Okay, this is probably the biggest grocery haul I've done in such a long time. I was just talking to my mom about how I really need to get back eating healthy. And I think I said in this vlog, but I got this stuff for smoothies frozen strawberries mangoes what's happening you're fine <laughs> frozen strawberries mangoes bananas that is all smoothie stuff and then also for kind of breakfast things I want to get back to drinking lemon water and I bought some avocados as well because that is just always good to have I feel like um I don't know what I just said. For This is also for the smoothies as well. I used to get one long cucumber and just cut it up, but I think I would just rather put a whole or a half one of these in there. The worst part about Trader Joe's is that everything is in plastic, so I don't know how to like get around that. But anyways, um, for dinners, I got 
some peppers, um, a little thing of tiny red potatoes. I also got onions. I think these three flavors just taste really good together, so I'll probably like roast those. I also got some zucchini squash. That could also be good with those. Um, or I could make, um, what is it called? Spaghetti, zucchini, spaghetti. I don't know what you say. Um, but yeah, I could use that. And then I think I'm going to have this tonight. My mom made me a piece of salmon, so I'm going to have probably half of this tonight, but I'm going to make the whole thing so that I can have half of it tomorrow. I got some gnocchi, these two for sandwiches. I also got this bread for sandwiches and for um, avocado toast. We had sandwiches this weekend, and I just like, I don't know, they were just so good. So I got these two and then some mozzarella cheese for sandwiches. I was trying to go dairy free, but honestly cheese doesn't hurt my stomach that much and that's the only reason why I went dairy free was because um, milk hurts my stomach or like cream and stuff. So that's why, but this I think is okay. Um, and then I just realized that Trader Joe's had a bunch of coffee products. So I got two of these. I think this is like enough for one coffee. Um, I don't, I've never tried these, so maybe I shouldn't have gotten two, but I got two of these one of these i'm really excited to try that i feel kind of like i'm cheating on la Colum, but whatever and then i've tried this before and i like it and so i got that and then this coconut and almond creamer i've never seen a non-dairy creamer there so that was good this is also for smoothies and then this I think is what I want to put with this and maybe the calling yoki with perhaps some pesto which I do have we have two huge basil plants that need to be used up so yeah this is the haul this was all $72 which I think this is enough for oh, probably a week and a half maybe two weeks Obviously, I just ate dinner, which was literally so good. The broccolini was so good, and I thought that I was gonna have enough to eat some tomorrow, but after I made it, I was like, wait, three little pieces of broccolini is not enough food. So I just ate all of them. This morning, I left in quite a rush. Uh, so my room is like very messy, my bed's not made. Also, I have all of this stuff, and I'm so excited because tomorrow I am filming a clothing haul so I can finally get rid of all of that stuff right there. I'm also going to try and take some photos tomorrow so I'll get rid of this bin that's sitting here. This right here is from my um, refrigerator, my little mini fridge. I'm deciding whether I want to keep the one that I have or get a smaller one. The only reason why I feel like I want to keep the one that I have is if I move into an apartment. Obviously, I will have well, not obviously, but I will most likely have a bit more space, like counter space for it. So that's the only reason why I would want to keep the larger one. But then again, it's like I could want something smaller in there. So I don't know. I'll show you guys what's in it because I actually did get something last night that I do want to show you guys. 
but I'll show you guys what's in it because what's in it right now is pretty much all that I'm gonna have in there um, with the exception of maybe I might put a coffee in there just because like to fill the space I guess I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I got in the mail today they are gonna be in the try-on haul tomorrow but I just feel like I can add them in here if you guys want to see how they fit um, you can watch that video I feel like it'll be out by the time you're watching this and if it's not then it'll it's gonna be out the next Wednesday. This is a little boxy black denim jacket. I've been wanting a black denim jacket and I don't know, this one just seemed like a good little situation. Next thing I got, I have seen Matilda, I don't know how you say her last name, but her name is Matilda something and she is like the queen of fashion. I, I'm just obsessed with how she wears her clothing but she has this huge like oversized sweater vest so I wanted to get one and experiment with this it's a little bright let's see what we can do I wanted to experiment with this because I just think it's so cute um, some people have been wearing it like just this with nothing underneath it but since it's a little bit chillier I think it would I can't get the lighting right since it's a little chillier I think it would be cute with like a white turtleneck or not a white turtleneck a baby pink turtleneck or like a bubblegum pink turtleneck I don't know we'll try it out this I'm obsessed with this I'm just obsessed with everything holy cow H&M like I love H&M and that's all that I shopped at when I was in Australia was H&M because they didn't have forever 21 and that's when I didn't really care about sustainable stuff and then I saw the Great Barrier Reef and that just changed my entire life so this next thing is um, just a little it's not little it's very thick uh, very sturdy it's super cute um, this is also the conscious line but I'm obsessed also, I'm going to uh, have all of these in a try haul, like I said. This last one is a little bit of a darker pink. And this has a fun little detail. On the back, it actually ties. Can't see it, but you will see it in that video. So, oh, that's how it ties, like that. That's the back, though. In the back, it ties, and in the front, it's just plain. This is just too difficult to show, so... This is from Mate the Label, and I literally didn't, like, expect anything from them. Um, but let's see what it is. I mean, it could be something from my birthday, but I don't, I literally did not expect a single thing from them. I'm so confused. Did they just send this just to send it? Oh, I love this. Oh. I love that. I'm probably going to try. I need to take a, a good bit of pictures in my mate stuff because, um, uh, what, <laughs> I literally just blanked so hard, but I need to take a, a good bit of pictures in my mate stuff because, um, I do work with them. Also, I want to show you guys, this is really sad. Uh, so you guys know I've been loving my Apple watch. I wear it every single day. Um, I use it every single day and while I was on vacation something happened to it so I don't know like if you guys can tell but it is thoroughly cracked you can see underneath and I can't even like well of course now it's letting me tap buttons but I can't put in my passcode I do think I'm going to get a new one I think I want to purchase the SE it's a little bit bigger than this but I have just been looking up on this and just seeing that I kind of like the way the SE works um, I've had that since Christmas so since um, I got it for Christmas last year and yeah so I really think I'm gonna get the SE if you guys have any opinions on what Apple watch you have or like if you guys like whatever you have let me know I have the series 3 currently I'm also probably gonna order this tonight and pick it up tomorrow from the Apple store so it might be out of date <laughs> when you guys tell me your opinions but I still want to know also if you guys want to see a little um, 
unboxing video I'll do one of those as well and like telling you guys how I set it up what's what I put on it because I do love my Apple watch and the SE actually has like more features that I think are super helpful which is why I'm thinking that I want to get that one so let me know what you guys think I think I'm gonna put in the order tonight and be able to pick it up sometime in the morning because it's really it's sad but it motivates me so much to work out and like when I didn't have it on today I was like oh I'm not gonna work out because I can't log it which is like not the way to think at all and I did end up going on a little walk this morning but I feel like whenever I have my Apple watch on I'm just like oh I, I can't wait to work out because I'll be able to log it and like you know so that's kind of how I'm feeling about that but I think I need to get ready because tomorrow I am instead of having an editing day I'm having a major filming shooting day I'm just gonna get ready tomorrow and be ready for my try on haul taking pics you know the whole nine yards I'm gonna edit tonight and I started this morning while I was babysitting but didn't get it done um, so I'm just gonna try and finish filming or finish editing tonight so I can film all day tomorrow and shoot some photos it is 8 55 I just did my entire nighttime skincare routine and I told you guys I would show you what is in my little mini fridge this is what we have in here so far there's not that much but I kind of like it like that and then I have some masks here and a little rose quartz roller i'm having deja vu showing this so maybe i have showed this before but i won a giveaway talia actually had a giveaway and i won this um i got 50 dollars for clean and dirty so i just got this toner and then i also got this under eye um cream what is this yeah, under eye cream. Lavender and coffee under eye cream. I just did this, but the thing is, I think with this bottle that it doesn't let temperature in. So I do, it's not that cold, I don't think. So maybe I'm going to leave the top off. I don't know, because then maybe the coffee will, you know, come out. I, I'm probably not making any sense, but I just... These are all the products that I use at night. I do a little thin layer of this thin layer of this because this is for my acne which I don't really have anymore but I was on Accutane if you didn't know so that's like the cream version of Accutane uh, just to keep my skin looking fresh and then I did this before that so this is a little toner guys I have been so awful at vlogging today but I have done a multitude of things I literally can't breathe right now I just ran from the bottom floor to the top floor and it's like three levels and I'm dead anyways I went on a walk this morning and it was so great I'm going to try and implement that every single day I went and picked up my Apple watch that I ordered last night I did a little return for my mom Today is her birthday. I feel like I've said that 50 times. Maybe I haven't because I have not even talked on this vlog yet. But today is my mom's birthday. So um, we celebrated her birthday on Wednesday because my dad had to go out of town yesterday. And he's not coming back until tomorrow. But I have two little plants that I need to pot for her for her like birthday present. And then we also got her um, doTERRA frankincense, which is like... I would say it's like the Lululemon of essential oils. It's like the best and she always, well she doesn't always, she talked about it one time about how she wants it so badly but it's really expensive and it is. So um, we ordered that a little while ago. It was supposed to come on the 24th which is the day before her birthday but um, it's still not here and that's completely understandable. I told her that we did get it for her. Um, she doesn't really like surprises so I was just like I'm just going to tell you. That this is what we got you um so that'll come whenever it does i don't know when it's going to come and i don't really know how to track it because i don't have an account with doTERRA i didn't decide to make an account when i completed my order but anyways that is what's been going on this morning now i need to organize this huge basket of clothes that i'm staring at and also these clothes right here because i'm doing a little try on haul that is probably gonna take like three hours and it's gonna take so long. I just 
can't even fathom how long that's gonna take my room is actually a pigsty maybe not that little view that you saw but my laundry is so bad my closet is busting at the seams so we're definitely gonna have to clean some of this out i got i think i was saying this last night i have this bin from my mom that i want to put some of my summer stuff like skirts shorts uh tank tops i saw some things back here that i'm just not gonna wear like this this is for summer this is for summer so it's like things like that that i'm not gonna wear and there's also things in here that i straight up just don't wear like it could be very well in season but like like some of the stuff back here i can't remember the last time i reached like in this general direction of my closet it's pretty much all just in the front but the worst part is is that i wear so many clothes even though i don't do many things because i wear like an outfit to work out in and then i wear an outfit to just do my day in and then I wear another outfit if I'm filming another outfit if I'm changing if I'm like taking pictures like this is my outfit that I'm wearing like right now with these little um, leggings but I'm probably gonna change my outfit to film this little video because this is like not something that I want to be like you know but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Um, so I'm going to get ready for that video. I decided I'm only, uh, but if I don't film both, if I don't film the watch when I can't use my watch. <sighs> okay, we'll just figure it out as we go. All right. We've gotten one video down. Here is the aftermath. I haven't done the try on part, but I did the little talking part. And then I think tomorrow I'm gonna do the try on part tomorrow morning because I can do that in complete silence video number two coming on this fine friday day <laughs> okay guys so i didn't realize that for that apple watch i needed to have an updated iphone and i had not yet downloaded ios 14 so i think now what i'm going to do is go downstairs and make some dinner I'm having some thoughts of what I want, and I think what I want is cauliflower gnocchi, or maybe potatoes. defeated honestly but not really whatever i don't even care to be completely honest well i do i don't know whatever anyways i was planning on filming my little um apple watch situation like setting up my apple watch and unboxing it but i had to update to ios 14 and i had not done that yet now it's dark outside i'm not gonna film the rest of it now because the lighting is like really bad so i think what my plan is right now i have put one load of laundry in the washing machine it's only like what seven seven seventeen and i i don't know i'm i put my clothes in or i put some clothes in the washing machine i want to wait to get in the shower until that load is completed so i can put it in the dryer and then put the other load in the washing machine so that i have like two loads kind of in progress before i get in the shower but while i am waiting for that one to be finished because it takes about an hour i'm gonna get a bunch of cleaning in my room done i also 
think what we're gonna do is actually go through the closet and get rid of some clothing i have my clothes for my try on haul right here and i just need to film the try on part which i'm gonna do tomorrow morning yeah i, I don't know i'm very like frazzled right now because i also don't have my video edited for sunday um and i told my friends that i would hang out with them tomorrow uh and i don't want to cancel that um so and that's probably going to be like once i hang out with them my whole rest of the day is going to be kind of shot not necessarily like i'm just going to be spending the day with them so that's kind of what's happening right now i just need to sit and think of what my game plan is going to be for like maybe a second um while i do this stuff i think i'm gonna listen to the rest of laura's podcast she had one with Mackenzie, one with maggie mcdonald and one with natalie barbu that i have not listened to any of them i've started the Mackenzie one i think i'm about 30 minutes in but i feel like when i saw it in my car i'm remembering that 30 minutes in was like halfway like the bar was halfway so i feel like that one was a little bit longer but i'm listening to that now gonna listen to the just gonna listen to as much as I can um, while I'm cleaning up. I also wanna listen to Katie Bellotti's podcast as well. We're putting clothes we wanna keep but are just out of season in this and then clothes that I wanna sell, I'm just gonna lay them right here, probably wash them, um, but yeah, let's go. We just cleaned out the closet successfully this is how much space these two are my mom's and i don't really care that they're there i don't mind at all um but we cleaned out this much space on one side and then not too much space on the other side these are all of my like sweatshirts i also do really want to uh, color coordinate all of this but that is another um thing to tackle some other day a few of my mom's clothes are back here as well maybe i'll ask her if she wants those things um but yeah this entire basket is filled with either summer stuff or stuff that I'm just not currently wearing but I still want to keep. And then I have a good bit of stuff that I want to try and sell on Instagram. If you guys are interested, these have just been posted to my story. If you're watching this the day that it comes out, they are all there right now. And there could be a few additional pieces, but head over to my Instagram. It's linked down below if you want to shop my closet. Not too many things, but a good bit of sweatshirts, um, some workout tanks, workout tees, uh, just some like little shirts that I've thrifted that I just don't see myself wearing. Now I think I'm going to take a quick shower because I don't want to miss Love Island. Also I'm thinking about selling this. I want to see if my friend wants it because I do, I feel like I remember telling her that I would just give it to her um, and if she wants it then obviously I'm not going to sell it. Um, but yeah, oh, I wanted to show you guys. I'm watching this girl. Her name is Sage, and she reached out to me on Instagram, and she told me that um, I inspired her to start a channel, so that's so sweet, and she said that she posted this little thrift haul that was very inspired by me, so I'm watching her video now. I will link it below if you guys want to watch it. Um, I just started it, so that is what I'm doing while I'm doing all of this busy work. I do also want to go switch my laundry. It's 8.38. I'm hoping that uh, I can switch my laundry get my skincare done um, and all that stuff before Love Island comes on and then while Love Island is on I'm gonna keep working uh, I want to find a place to put this bin because it is very full um, and my only concern is that I won't be able to leave it in this room although I, I think there's a lot of things that there's just a lot of things that I'm like anxious about, like having my stuff spread out around our house or things like that. I don't like putting my stuff like in random closets, I guess. Like I'll, I'll know where they are, but I know that I forget things very easily and I just know I can literally see it happening. I put this entire bin somewhere, I move out of my parents' house and I forget it and I'm heartbroken because I'm just like, it's so heavy, I'm not gonna wanna ship it 
and yeah so I don't want that to happen my thought is that if I rearrange um, the closet space it down here I can fit it maybe in this little corner um, I would definitely have to change this up but I'm also trying to free up some space up here another option is I could actually fold it all put it in this and lay it open and shove that under my bed there's nothing under my bed but my bed is really low to the ground also thinking about getting bed risers so that could all be happening tomorrow there's a lot going on but as of right now we've gotten rid of a lot of clothes so right now I'm gonna go shower do my laundry. I think I still hear it going. I totally do. So we're just gonna wait a little bit more and then get this thing, get the show on the road. Oh, what I can do is bring all these cups downstairs because this is actually bugging me so much. I wanna show you guys my nighttime skincare routine because I said earlier in this vlog that I haven't been like really um, routinely doing things like I haven't been strict and like disciplined to continue doing things uh routines that I and habits that I have formed for myself and but I feel like when I do do this routine um I can really tell in my skin and I have made a point this past week to just really be more disciplined and I'm seeing payoffs in my skin so I want to show you guys what I'm doing, what I'm using. So first thing I do, I clean my face. I just use Cetaphil, the one for like eczema, because my skin was very dry. But um, as I'm sure you can tell in a lot of the clips, my skin is so oily. So maybe I just need to um, switch um, cleansers. But then I go in with this little toner, and I actually won this in a giveaway. I really need to get reusable... Um, wiping pads because I did get rid of or I didn't get rid of them I used up all of the little cotton rounds because and I haven't repurchased because I know that they're just not very great for the environment but a paper towel isn't that great either so I just need to order some re reusable ones from Amazon which I'll, I'll sit down and do it tonight one thing about this is I don't really enjoy the smell of it but I do like it i don't know what i noticed but i noticed a difference i don't know what that difference is but there is something then i have this little laneige um water sleeping mask why did i just try to do this i have this laneige water sleeping mask and i actually bought this at the very beginning of quarantine because i was just going crazy on self-care things so what i do is i have this as well i was on accutane for about a year um maybe nine months maybe um i do a little pea-sized amount of this so basically what's coming out of the top and then i do um probably like that much and then i just mix them Okay, last thing I put on my skin at night is some under eye cream. I can't decide if I want to leave this in my nighttime skincare routine or if I want to move it to the morning. Um, but it is also from Clean and Dirty. I want to give away, I feel like I've said that 50 million times, but it just looks like this and it's coffee lavender. I The lavender that I get makes, it's like a calming feeling, but the coffee feeling is more like awakening so i like it and um it's just so smooth on your skin like it's literally amazing but i i would rather go to bed with very balmy oily skin than wake up and put all of this on so maybe i'll continue doing this at night sometimes i will do this i don't really know how you're supposed to do this but i just hit it with a one two and then sometimes maybe i'll be super gentle and come under my eyes it just feels really good because it's cold but yeah that's it i look crazy and so like wet like i just look wet right now but my skin does really suck all of this up so i will see you guys tomorrow it's gonna be a big day it's gonna be a really big day um especially because i made a commitment to hang out with my friends so i want to get everything that i need to get done before that um so 
we're gonna be moving tomorrow it's gonna be fun though we're gonna it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fun what more could you ask for all right see you guys tomorrow i know i said i wasn't getting back on the vlog tonight but i really just want to show you guys what progress i've had over the night it's probably like 11 30 i don't know it's so late but i just got a random burst of energy and i got so many things done so i cleaned out my entire closet i don't know if i showed this but i cleaned it out and um color coordinated it pretty much i yeah i'm just really happy with this i have all of my bottoms and then tops here and then all of my sweatshirts when you open this side if you guys remember i had a big suitcase up here it was it's the same thing as this but a lot bigger that's the uh carry-on size and i actually folded it like or unfolded it so it's just laying flat under my bed there it is with a lot of clothing in there. I took everything out of the pink bin and I put it in there because I th just think that's a better use of the space and I can clear out some space above my closet and put those clothes in here so I don't have to find a place to put that big pink bin. Right now I am sitting in front of all the clothes that I have to do for my try on tomorrow. Um, these are all of the hangers that I cleared. I'm really hoping that <laughs> all of this fits on these hangers because that would be like an even one-to-one -one ratio one in one out my goal with taking all of my summer stuff out of my closet is that i pull it out next summer and i feel like i've just gone shopping and so i don't feel the need to buy a ton of stuff again um i i think i was just bored in quarantine and just bought so many things and although it was all very or most of it was from the thrift store I just should not have done that. I should not have bought so many things and um, although I do love everything that I've gotten, I'm just like, dude, you don't even have this much space. These two things I am donating. I saw this in the corner of my closet and I haven't used it since like fourth grade so it just needs to go. The butt, I mean the zippers are all broken, whatever. These are the clothes that I'm donating. And then finally, these are the clothes that I'm going to attempt to sell on my Instagram. I think I'm just going to make three stories out of it. Sweatshirts, um, t-shirts, sweaters, whatever, and uh, workout shirts. That's what's happening tomorrow. We might try and tackle something else. I'm seeing things in my closet that I don't want to see. So that's it for tonight. I'm going to go to bed. I'm thoroughly sweaty and very hungry but it's so late like i don't need to eat right now i think i'm just dehydrated so see you tomorrow <laughs> good morning guys well i guess it's not really morning anymore it's like 10 a.m but i am just sitting downstairs at the table eating some breakfast it's actually kind of like a big breakfast i would say i have avocado toast with eggs and then i have like a little plum and the last of my la Colombe cold brew today on the agenda we have a good bit of things last night when i went to sleep i left off on like kind of the end of what i needed to do yesterday so i set myself up perfectly for this morning as soon as i get back upstairs and i'm done eating i'm gonna do the try on portion of the try on haul which just takes so long it always takes so long but um i'm gonna do that finish filming my um ipad my ipad my apple watch unboxing uh and then i'm going to I didn't go on a walk this morning just because I would much rather do that. Like, I'd rather work out with my um, watch on. 
so I can get like the points for it honestly so I think I'm gonna do that tonight or like this afternoon I'm going to hang out with my friends at three so I'll probably be back from that um maybe like six and then I can go on a great long walk I have a small to-do list I guess looking at it because it's only filming two videos and editing one but they're gonna take me a little while so I just need to be productive today and I thought the best way to do that would just be to get up and make a good breakfast it looks very bright right here but it's not it's like dark and gloomy and the camera that I use for my sit down videos does not pick up light as well as this one so maybe I'll just film it on this one I, I just hate mixing up the files because something is weird with this camera and my other camera that when I film on that camera and then if I put the same sim card or the same memory card into this camera and keep filming they get all jumbled up and I have fixed the date on both of these cameras so this camera and the other one I've fixed the date so that they're the same but they always get mixed up and then it's just like confusing for me especially if it's like a long week in my life vlog because like I don't remember what days I did what so yeah that's why it's a little frustrating to film it on two separate things so I'm gonna try and we'll see if it's not looking good then I will just film the rest of the Apple watch video on this computer not computer on this camera but as of right now we are eating and I'll see you guys upstairs I wanted to show you guys this is the coffee creamer that I was using. It is Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Oat Milk Creamer All Natural Plant Based. I didn't look at the ingredients, but you know, who cares? It's creamer. I personally don't, so there you go. Okay, we have successfully finished the try on portion of that video. I didn't really time how long it took me, but I think it took me about an hour. I'm so glad that I am finished with it now. I actually was folding up the clothes as I was going. So as I was completing a basket, I put all of the clothes from that basket away in my closet. Something is like tickling my nose. Now I just need to put away the rest of these clothes. Where is it? Right here. And um, I will do that quickly. I got everything. I'm just so happy that I've gotten all this done. I'm pretty warm, so I'm gonna put on a fan, but let's get into the time lapse. pretty much clean uh, like I said I still do have those over there I might actually take those pictures today because although I feel pretty overwhelmed with what I have to do today it's only 1256 and I told my friend I would be at her house at 3 so that means I don't have to leave until about 2 30 2 15 so right now I am sitting down to finish filming my apple watch video and then i'll take those pictures and then i'll just chill i'm not gonna focus on editing anything today because or anything right now because i told myself that i'm not going to um i'm not gonna waste the end of this day like i'm gonna hang out with my friends and i'm gonna come home and edit my video and that'll be great uh ideally i'll get two videos edited maybe three but i think realistically i'm only planning on and counting on finishing one so i've started it it's pretty much halfway done and it's going to be a super easy video um so actually no it's not going to be an easy video because there's going to be a lot of edits but it's okay i am fully okay with it um, so yeah, I did get rid of a ton of hangers. These are the amount of hangers that I have left. I think I have, uh, four or five articles of clothing in the wash, so I will still need four or five of those, but this is what my closet's looking like. I have, um, outerwear back here, and then all of my pants, sweatpants, lounge pants, um, more, like, dressy pants, denim, leggings I only have one pair of leggings in here that's so interesting and then um, running tank tops these are like shirts cardigans sweaters stuff like that and then on this side I do have my heavier jackets and sweaters so I guess sweaters are not over there sweaters are all over here with hoodies crew necks all that stuff 
and then long dresses are back here. I really need to figure out something for this down here because I did just stuff all of this in here um, just to get it like out of my room. Like I didn't want to see it, but now it's kind of um, just a mess down there. And um, the shoes also are somewhat of a mess. I do kind of want to go through them and see which ones I don't wear, but I'm looking at all of them and I really wear all of them with an exception of like one or two I don't have many like I don't know I'm looking at my sneakers and I literally was about to say I only have one pair of every type of shoe and I'm looking at like six pairs of sneakers but whatever I'm just like not wanting to get rid of my sneakers because that's what I wear the most if anything I would get rid of like these shoes right here these little um sandals but I don't know I feel like those were such a staple when I was like going out and doing stuff uh, but it could be time for just to get rid of those and get a new pair if the occasion arises. I think that's also not necessarily my style anymore, so whatever. We'll just cross that bridge when we get there, but as for right now, I am filming that Apple Watch video. I just finished that video. I think I'm going to go downstairs and make some lunch. I know I'm going to lunch with my friends at 3, but it's 1.30 and I'm literally starving. I also never want to go out starving because that just doesn't set up for a good um, recipe for success so I'm just going to make a little lunch here I did make a bunch of potatoes last night I think I showed you guys yeah I showed you guys my dinner last night so I'm gonna heat that up I'm gonna make a little chicken sausage um and yeah that's what we're gonna eat maybe a little salad but this is actually supposed to really just be a little snack so that I'm not super hungry at lunch i or at like whatever we're having this is the sandwich vibe it's super tiny with just a little bit of this meat uh, i got this from trader joe's never tried it before but i'm excited and then this cheese and like this much of an avocado some herba mare gonna pop this into the um air fryer I probably will have some potatoes as well because I'm just like massively hungry, but I'm gonna eat that first and see how I feel. Let's do a little taste test. I made this in the air fryer, so let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Okay, she's delicious. We love her. I'm about to head out. I'm not gonna bring my camera, but this is the fit. Um, those shoes. And I will see you guys soon. Good morning everyone. Sunday morning I just woke up. No, I didn't just wake up. I woke up a little while ago and kind of just laid in my bed for a long while. But now I'm up in Adam. It's 10 a.m. and I just made my breakfast, chatted with my mom a little bit. Uh, now I need to edit a video. I Yesterday I hung out with my friends and it was so much fun. I hadn't seen them in such a long time and then I came home and my mom, my sister and I had dinner together and we literally chatted for like two or three hours. I was only with my friends for like three hours from like three to six and then I came home um, and had dinner with my family but it was such a good day yesterday. That was like one of my favorite days over the past, I don't know, over the the past few weeks I guess um, but anyways now I am sitting down I need to edit a video for today so this is a little stressful but it's okay I was editing it and I had it I had started editing it but I feel like I kind of want to change what it looks like I don't know I'm um, just sitting here doing this just now my door just opened that's strange Anyways, later today I'm hanging out with a friend, so I have like three hours because I told her that I would be able to do it at one. Um, so, I need to get on my grind today. I'm posting this at five. I feel like I've said this so many times, but I really want to know when you guys are on YouTube, like when you watch videos and what is your preference as of upload time, as far as upload time, because I can see in my analytics like when 
all of my subscribers are online but that's not the people who watch my videos that's like all of my subscribers so I want to know if you guys are making it to this point tell me when you guys get on YouTube and when you like watch the most on Sundays and Wednesdays also tell me what days you watch YouTube the most also I made this coffee I got this from Trader Joe's I think it was in this vlog and I got a few because they had a lot to choose from and I was just like wait I want to try all of this so I got one I can't remember what it what like the flavor is but I'll put it on the screen and my review is that it's probably like a four or five out of ten the only thing is that I like like rich coffee and I also like it to be thick like I don't I like creamer in my coffee and um I don't or like I, I like uh lattes which I feel like are very thick as well it's just very thin and it's coconut infused I think it's coconut water infused coffee so I don't know I'm not the biggest fan of it but it'll do for today um so yeah there you go. I got in my video uploaded. Now I'm about to leave to go hang out with my friend. I think she said we're going on a walk in the park. I'm really excited about this camping video that I'm posting today though because I just think it'll be funny. So I just finished hanging out with my friend. It was so good to catch up with her. Um, we just chilled for such a long time and just chatted for literally hours but now I am at the thrift store I wanted to pick up a few things yeah I'm gonna go in there see if they have any more sweaters because I think sweaters are always fun to have the Sun has come out for the first time in literally days so I'm hoping that tomorrow it's still sunny and that I can take some photos because I have a photo to post today but I don't have one like past today and I do have a lot of outfits that I have to get posted within the next few weeks and I hate when I have to like pile them up like when I have to post rapid fire because I have deadlines that I have to meet with the posting let's go inside I'm gonna bring you guys with me I always say that but I'm actually going to this time and I'm gonna show you guys pretty much everything all right let's go hello guys I am sure this is not a big surprise but I forgot to end off my video I honestly have just been doing that so much lately just forgetting to end the video but I want to thank you guys so much for watching this if you're making it to this point you're truly a warrior comment down below your favorite fall activity I'm excited to see some because I do want to make an entire video about fall festivities even in the time of COVID. So let me know your favorite fall activity and I will be sure to include that in a video coming soon. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and like this video, comment down below. It really does help me out so much in a time where I literally feel like my YouTube is just not growing at all, but that would help me out so much. Also, if you guys aren't already, subscribed if you guys aren't already following me on instagram make sure to do that it's always linked below i will see you guys next time and yeah super excited for the videos to come bye